athletic wise, as we said, at dress wasn't too bad. On occasions, however, you did get a little bit more flex in the knees. And although you may feel like you're really straight in the legs, you can yeah. see how much you're not that yeah, much straighter. Yeah. They are slightly yeah. changed, but not as much as you may feel. You yeah. know, yeah. your legs vertically straight. Mm. But again, in that position there, you've got plenty more room now for your arms to swing between your hands and your legs. If we go in there, yeah. it's a little bit closer, okay? And that's pretty much how much change you've made, probably that much, okay? Yeah. Which is enough though, because that much on the heel is going to be the sweet spot, you see? So that's enough oh, of a change yeah. to make, okay? What we're going to try and do though, as we said, the lower half's got to work a lot more effectively. If we sort of look at the lower half in these two swings here now, when that club's going back, so that's the club going back there, and then the club going back there. So left hand side is obviously the before, you can see the club going back here now. Left heel starts lifting off the ground about there. Right toe starts lifting up. So you've got the old sort of yeah, one going back, back and forth. forth. And the club's only just, the club's there halfway back. It's not much further on. That club's doing the movement there with the lower half. So you've lost a bit of stability there. Then you've got to tap your toe down. It's all back past your paddock, yeah. okay? This here now, as you go back, look at that left foot. Yeah, definitely. Much more stable there, okay? Yeah. Much more solid. There's a bit of roll in the ankle, which could be a bit of, restrictions in the hips possibly because you yeah. can't twist it so the foot does all the work for you but the majority at least there it looks as though that one i can sort of get a little proddy fall over that one yeah. that actually got a bit more stability Sorry. you can yeah. swing the club okay so you, then you come back to golf ball here now you can see that left foot again if we sort of zoom on that left foot he's staying nice and stable nice and solid not moving at all as you can see club can return back coming in from a better angle there striking the correct golf ball mm -hmm. whereas this one if we obviously put a metaphoric ball in there, left foot having to sort of try and stabilise, left foot going back down, right foot then going forward, the club coming back in here now, you'll be yeah. catching, that yeah. if the blue ball's a bit closer obviously, you'll be yeah. catching that you see, yeah. and that foot there now when you're swinging there, the left heel sort of moving out of the way, left, it's all a little bit wobbly, yeah. there's not that ability or stability should we say, in the golf club, you're trying to almost balance yourself. So whereas the lower half does all the stabilising, the yeah. top half does all the movement, if the lower half is all over the place, the top half is going to try and go, your feet yeah, going, that, well, where am I going kind of thing. And, for exactly. So then, and when you click the competition together, get all things right, five wrongs make a right, the ball goes dead. Yeah. Straight, you go, why is that gone then? Why is that all the single, every single time? Yeah. But now you can actually see why. Yeah, that's, that's half the back. Well, you you wouldn't, and, and again, if you said to someone your feet are doing this in the golf swing and doing that, you think, I have a clue you're doing that. It's all you yeah. going back and forth there. You wouldn't be aware yeah, of that. And no one really looks at that watching your golf swing. Most people, when they see your golf swing on the golf course, they look at your, your head or your body or the arm of the club. Yeah. But this is a key thing. The lower half is, for me, the main, the main thing if we get that right. So again, good strike as we can see there now. And we can rotate through into a balanced position. The whole swing itself, when you watch it, just watch the lower half and it looks a lot more stable through there and a good strike. Whereas this one here now, it, 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 just, it just looks all wobbling at us. It just doesn't yeah, look like you can yeah. control it, you see. And when you're doing that, you can't stabilise the swing. Yeah. So because of that, I so say you're, you're fighting that the, all the demons of the feet doing this and the top half playing catch up. So yeah. does that kind of make sense? Here? Yeah, definitely. So sort of yeah. summarise there. Just again, a little bit less knee flex. Okay. Yeah. Don't bend the knees if we top a few shots or you miss hit a few shots and lose balance. Very common guys go, oh, bend my knees more. The more I bend my knees, the less I'm going to wobble and move around. That's okay. It, yeah. Which is going to be the worst that we can do as we can see. Yeah. So you want to feel like you're flexing your knees just to get the golf ball. You only really bend your knees to prevent prevent injury. Okay, right. if your legs are straight, obviously these kneecaps would really know about it when you came through. Yeah. You've got to be bending to reach the golf ball. Right. So if you bend to reach the golf ball, then you can't really twist and you, you find your hips, all, all this extra movement starts happening. When your legs are nice and straight, you can rotate as most effectively as you can. Right, okay, Do yeah. this, you yeah. try and rotate, you can't go anywhere, can you? So if you lose balance and then you bend your knees, you will tend to lose more balance because your lower half's trying to do things it can't do. Sure. Okay, so okay. flex yeah. the knees, as we said. And then swing-wise, like I say, try and feel, like I say, crushing that coat hanger of that left heel, so you're keeping that left heel there nice and sort of supported, okay, underneath the ground. Maybe it's good that you've been on the golf course. It's a windy-ish day, possibly. Perhaps put a leaf under your left heel. It's still there when you finish the golf swing, your left has not moved. If you've done that, it's blown away. Oh, where's it going? Yeah. So maybe yeah. a feeling for someone, okay, keep that left heel there, so we keep on the ground. When you finish the swing, he's not moved up the whole swing. Yeah. And once he stabilises, the rest can kind of do what it wants to do. You can in fact function on doing certain things about swinging the club rather than like, oh, hang on a minute, I'm going to try and stand up. Yeah. Make sense? Um, yeah, I've actually been watching.